Welcome to Once Upon a Crime. <sighs> Stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight's scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Leah. And I'm Annabelle. Our first story. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous, vi the famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims that hay fever is to blame and his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Oscar with more. I am here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf. Mr Wolf, you have been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? All those actually accusations are false. You have been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? That wasn't me, that was my brother. He likes hanging about around old women. What do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? I'm not, and you should watch out for my brother. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Oh. Now for news of escaped, kidnapped heroes, Hansel and Gretel. Their stories captured the hearts of the nation and caused media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in the new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter, Lily Rose, was at the book's release in the deep dark forest, the scene of the, their terrible tale. Hello, I'm Lily and with me is Hansel and Gretel. You're absolutely very rich now, having found all the jewellery in the old woman's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? Um, going to buy a good house and some land and get some good clothes and donate some to charity. Give me that, my brother's a liar. He meant we're going to spend all the money on ASIC shoes because we can't afford any. Hansel, you're back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How, do you, how did you do it? Well, he's still a bit um, on the thick side. Um, excuse her. Um, well, it took a lot of exercise, three hours a day running. Um, five kilometres. What have you learned through this experience? Don't, Don't trust, trust strangers, strangers and, and always have a backup plan. plan. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck with ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast after failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets. Sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. Now we go to our reporter, Willow. Thanks, Leah, and hello everyone. I'm Willow here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast, and hello and smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. What's next? What's going on with you two? I'm leaving her. She gave all her money. She, ga she gambled all the money. No, you and did, actually. No, you did. Don't blame me. Don't blame me for your problems. It's, it's not. It's not our fault. She's it's just jealous. She's no, just. No. She's just jealous that she's ugly. When I wake up, I look like this. But when she wakes up, she looks like. Well, that. I'm only like this because you stress me out. Because you stress me out. This is why, I'm like this, and I'm leaving you first. You're something of a beauty, beauty. And you're a total beast beast. What is the reality of living with someone who is completely different from you? I do not recommend that at all. Move on in life if you make that wrong decision. Nah, no answer. I don't care. Your recent Dua album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? Well, I'm leaving her, taking all the money... Um, um, no, I'm leaving you first because you're so abusive and we will not be carrying on with any of our stuff anymore. No, Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best in the future. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Willow. 
Now it's time for Faraway Land Weather Update with Brooke. Who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, it will be a mix of fair and foul for the Faraway Kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and the birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark with all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Warm up if you're living in the house made of sticks, straws or gingerbread because it will be freezing. Finally, trolls living under the bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. That's all for tonight. Although we have just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview, he is hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good night. Good night.